We've got a bit of a convoy going on this afternoon. We're moving from farm two over to Jeremy's farm. He's going to go and cut his wheat. And um, I thought I'd uh, hitch a convoy with the with the Oaks Brothers combine. They're taking that off to another farm now to do another demo. And uh, yeah, they were going past where we want to go. So I thought I'd follow them. Alright, so we're just finishing up on Thursday evening, early night tonight. We're going to finish just before the sun goes down. I haven't done much video today because I haven't got much room on this SD card, so uh, yeah. We, we had a little bit of drizzle to begin with this morning, so it was a bit of a steady start getting going. We moved over here around, well I got going at Jeremy's about 1 o'clock I think, and we cut 20 hectares this afternoon in four different fields so uh yeah jeremy's i think jeremy's pleased that it's in the shed dry so that's good um tomorrow we're going to go back on to well that's all the wheat done as soon as i've done this little patch here that's all the wheat done um tomorrow we're going to go back on to spring oats we've got some oats at jeremy's farm and we've got loads of oats up at farm free so plenty to get on with and then over there is our spring wheat as well. We've still got 50 hectares of spring wheat to cut as well. And I think I might have to go and cut some spring barley for someone actually as well. A bit of contracting. So yeah, happy days. I have to say I'm quite pleased to be back in my combine today. I don't want to be rude about the New Holland, but it's not a bad combine, but I just like this one better, I think. <laughs> this one's more comfortable. This one's got more output. Um, yeah, each to their own, I guess, isn't it? And it's all about dealer, dealer backup as well. I know you're probably all going to say that uh, we should try a class Lexium, but um, again, it's down to dealer backup, isn't it? We get on so well with Hunt Forest Group. Right, so we're on the Oaks. It's pretty much 24 hours since the last time I did some video. When, uh, when we we're finishing Jeremy's wheat. Um, we're still at Jeremy's farm, but we're cutting spring Oaks. And uh, as you can see, they're a bit flat. <laughs> They've had a bit of weather on them. Uh, like most of the oaks in the country, I think. So about, it's about quarter past seven in the evening. And it's getting tough already. It's not even got dark yet. As soon as you hit a flat spot, it just starts to, starts to wrap around that auger. I think if the sun came out, it would be a lot better job. It would go a lot quicker. We are going along a bit steady. There's a lot of straw. The straw is very tough. Um, although everything is dry at the moment, we haven't had any rain. There's moisture inside the stem of the straw. And it just brings, as it's going through the combine, it's bringing all the moisture out. All right, we're done with cutting for today. We'll, we'll resume tomorrow in the morning. Um, yeah, it was just wrapping around that auger, so. Uh, but I'm done down here now anyway, so it's okay. Jeremy seems to have a load of uh, geese in his field. I'll drive over. I'm tempted to let the dog out and <laughs> chase them, but I'm not sure. Uh, they'll probably chase him across the field. What do you reckon, Eric? What do you reckon? Might chase them? If you drive over there, see if they take off. Go back to Canada. <laughs> They're off. They're off. So we did a bit of a test today. As you can see, we're back on the oaks again. It's Saturday. What I did was I engaged the straw chopper, switched the straw so it would go through the straw chopper, pulled the stationary knives out, so and I slowed down the straw chopper so it won't actually chop the straw. It just blows it out the back. Um, I'll show you what it looks like but we are rowing up again now because it didn't really work that well. Basically, this oat straw is really damp and unless you get any real heat into it, um, like hot sunshine, you have to spread it out with the tether so that it will dry. And we thought we might be able to put it through the straw chopper without chopping it and spread it out, but it didn't really work that well, to be honest. It was a bunny rabbit. That's what it looks like, look. It didn't really spread it. It just sort of chopped it a little bit 
and um, still dropped it in lines. So it didn't really work that well. We're going to find out if you can get a straw uh, spreader for one of these combines. So I forgot to say that um, we actually put a new knife in the header yesterday. Uh, the old one kept snapping and we do, do, we do have a spare knife in the back of the header. Like there's a big old tube that runs along the back of the header. We have got a spare one in there but that one had already had a couple of repairs on it as well in previous years. Because uh, this combining header is actually on its sixth season now so it's done a, done a fair few hectares now. Yeah, so Simon bought us a new knife and it couldn't have come at a better time really, as you can probably see. Uh, yeah, we put it in yesterday morning and it's probably helping out quite a lot, cutting through this uh, these flat oats. If you're wondering why I'm missing a bit, it's because I haven't got a full header's width there, look, and because I want to get past this pole now. Going to go out a bit so then I can fit the header between um, the swap that I'm making now and the, the pole. Otherwise, you end up running into the straw. If you're wondering why the reel is going so fast, it's because I'm trying to flick the crop up off the floor into the header. I've got lift, I've still got the lifters on. I think you saw the lifters yesterday, didn't you? It's yielding quite well. It's um, doing seven tons to the hectare, or it was, it was just on seven tons to the hectare, it's gone now very dry, we're on sort of 11% moisture. Well we managed an extra half an hour than last night before it started wrapping. It's uh, as soon as the old sun's go, gone down look, the sun's gone to America and it won't be back till the morning. Um, yeah, it just starts wrapping and I just have to wait here basically until it's gone. Like, we did adjust the auger this morning, the auger, we did lower it down sort of five or six mil and it has been better but it still wraps a little bit it's just because the straw is really chewy I mean I think they're going to tear all this straw out as I was saying earlier because it's tough and it won't bail so they're going to have to spread it all out with the tether and then throw it up again when it's dry okay so we're done for tonight early finish again it's 8.38 I'm just going to drop the header onto that trolley and uh, go back to the yard There's the pile look that's what we've cut I think we've only done about 40 hectares I think in the last two days it's a pretty big pile it's Sunday morning, uh, bank holiday weekend, and uh, they did actually forecast a sunny day today. But and it was sunny first thing, but now it's gone. It's cloudy, which isn't very good. But um, we got to get on. So I'm going to try it and see how it, see if it goes through the combine right. I think the moisture will be fine because uh, yesterday it was like the, oh, the moisture was down to like twelve percent. So it's probably gone up to like 14% or something overnight. It's just whether it's going to actually go in the combine or not is the thing. I bet as soon as September comes, it'll be 30 degrees again, won't it? Everybody will be making hay. Cool. See, this might be the problem. I might have to stop and wait for the sun to come out. We'll do a couple of turns. Right, I'll come over to the other side of the field. Try something that's a bit more stood up. See what happens here. Come on. No. I don't think it's going to go. I think we might have to wait till the sunshine comes out. Right, so it's about two hours, two hours after the first time we tried this. I've just come down to give it another go. The sun was out a minute ago, but it's gone again right now. There's a lot of straw here. 
The straw isn't very crispy, it's just chewy. But at least the sun's out now. There's a lot of straw. <laughs> That's why we're having to spread it out to dry it. That's pretty good. just quite grateful right now that we have uh, very flat fields, they're all very level and they're pretty dry at the moment as well um, because there's only one thing worse than flat crops and that is uh, flat crops and uneven wet soil because the combine ends up turning into a, a D10 bulldozer. You end up uh, pushing so much dirt and you're out of the combine every five minutes pulling soil out of the header but whilst the ground is firm and dry, um, it's not too bad actually. As you can see right now, it's feeding all right. We are only doing 3.2K, but it's feeding okay, and I'm not having to get out and dig soil out of the header. Um, when it when the ground is wet, as soon as you get a little bit of straw clog up on the knife, it starts yanking more straw out of the ground, and then you end up with soil is just a mess, um, which is what normally happens when we've got flat crops, but right now it's dry, so um, I've got that to be thankful for. So we got that field done now. It's a bit of a steady job, but it's funny once you've when you leave the field, you uh, you wouldn't even know it was flat. Got a bit of blue power going on out there. Look, heading out the straw. Right, we're just going into the next field. Jeremy does have to drive in the crop a little bit, but he's got his skinny wheels on, so we're alright. I was hoping this field would be better, but. <laughs> It looks just as flat.
Right, that's another field done. As you can see, the tether man is chasing me around. There's a lot of straw, aren't there, in one of them rows. When it's, you can see it all when it's spread out. This is always a bit fun going down here. We'll go down a steep bank. And then I've got to reverse out of that gate onto that road. Whee! Down the hill. It's almost a foot on the windscreen jobby. Yeah. Reverse out of there and then go that way and we're going up to the next block now. The stubble turnips up at Farm Free are looking quite good. Um, and then that's where we're going out there. So we're up at Farm Free this afternoon. Now on the oats, we've got 32 hectares up here to cut. Um, and then that'll be all the oats done. Uh, I've actually decided on this field, because it this is these oats are quite thin, and when they've gone flat, they've gone flat, like to the ground, like they're touching the ground. So I've had to go the other way to the tram line. The tram lines go that way, and I'm going 90 degrees to the tram line. So I'm not probably not gonna be very popular with the baler man. But it was either do it like this or because the crop's going that way with the tram lines, or I'd have had to do the cut it all one way. So I decided to do it like this because the, the field is kind of square, but the next one I've got to do is rectangle, so I'll probably have to cut it the normal way. But it's definitely sped the job up doing it like this, it's just a little bit bumpy. It's just coming up to nine o'clock Sunday evening, and um, I'm not sure how much longer I'm going to be going for. It normally just switches like a light switch. It just then just starts wrapping around the auger, so it won't be long. As soon as that damp settles in, yeah, it's it's hard work doing it like this. I'm just thankful it's dry. So if the if the ground was wet, like I said earlier, if the ground was wet, it would be this would be so much harder. But like cutting a nice standing crop of wheat is probably 10, 15 times easier than what I'm doing right now. I mean like, just to put it into perspective, cutting a nice standing crop of wheat, if I've got the auto steer on, I can go on my laptop and edit a YouTube video. Right now, I wouldn't have a hope in hell's chance of that. It just, and it's tiring as well. Just constantly, constantly watching it and adjusting things. And, it's hard work, but you've got to take the rough with the smooth, I guess. Just got to get on with it, and we'll get there eventually. Alright, that's it. We went done for Sunday night. It's just gone 10 o'clock. Managed to keep going for quite a bit tonight, actually, which is good. The damp seems to keep off for a while. But, um, yeah, this is going to be the first night this summer that I've left the combine out in the, out in the field, so I'm going to have to take all the GPS equipment off of it and maybe give it a quick blow down and we will resume in the morning. Yeah, well, camera cleaning the combine. Turns out it wasn't a bad night to leave the combine out. There's no dew this morning, so everything's pretty dry, but there's no sunshine. Just uh, using this bowels to fill the combine up with diesel for the first time this summer. Eric, come on, come back, come on. He gets a bit carried away. Come on. We're just doing a bit of maintenance. I've already run around with the grease gun. Just got to tighten this chain up, look. It's gone a bit slack.
check the engine oil. That's good. Got hydraulic oil there, look. Right, we're back to the field. I brought the tractor and trailer. I thought I'd come and try it before everybody comes in to work and then finds that it won't even go. So we'll just give it a go. There's the dog. Eric, come back. Here you go. All right. Come up. There's the key. There's the key. Let's go. Right, here we go. We'll rev her up. Got the header down, and we'll see how it goes. Um, as you can probably see, possibly, I'm having to cross the tram lines again, which I'm not going to be probably, probably not going to be very popular with the straw boys, but um, if I don't cross the tram lines, I'm not going to pick up half the crop, so I haven't got a choice. Got auto steer on. Right, it's going in the combine. It's better than yesterday's attempt, or yesterday, this time yesterday morning. There wasn't any dew this morning, which helped massively, and there's a bit of breeze in the air. But yeah, I think it's going to be a long day. Got three fields up here today. So, yeah, it could be here a while. In the last little bit of spring oats or spring flat spring oats 21. I don't think I'll forget this job in a hurry. Oh, it's been a it's been a hard um, been hard work, but not just on me. It's hard on the combine as well. Uh, cutting in these conditions where it's tough, tough going through the combine. And we're done. Thank the Lord. All right, so we're on our way home. We're on our way back to farm one. Jeremy's in front with the header. And I'm gonna go in the field here. Every time I get out to uh, open and shut a gate, I get another 50 flies in here. 
Uh, they will keep buzzing around the light, but... Oh no, there's loads of them in the cab, look. Can you see them? All over the windscreen. And I'm gonna go in this field, because I can't fit down the track. There we go, try not to sit the combine over. But um, yeah, thanks for watching this video, guys. Much appreciated. Uh, all I've got left to do now is I've got a, some spring barley I've got to go and cut for someone. Bit of a contracting job. I'll do that tomorrow. And then we'll be on the spring wheat at farm one. And then that will be harvest done. Um, yeah, I'm kind of glad I got that nice bit of spring wheat to finish on, really. After what I just had for the last three days. I think the shed's definitely full. George wouldn't have got a lot more in there. The boards are on the front of the door as well. I'm going to stop before I crash into the 150.